Hey guys, it's Charles with M Engineering. Today we'll be installing M Tuner on this 718 GT4. To get started, you'll need a laptop or tablet running Windows. We're going to plug the dongle into the OBD port. All right, now we're going to go ahead and plug in your USB port that goes from the dongle to your computer. We're going to do a read info on your car. So when you hit read info with M Tuner, it'll automatically copy that to your clipboard. We're now going to send an email over to our calibration team. This is how you actually get your tuning file made. The email address is calibration at m-engineering.us. You'll want to be sure to note your name, your vehicle, any modifications, the octane you're running, as well as any M Engineering custom features. You'll want to paste all of that read info information to this email. Within 24 hours, we'll send you an email back with your tune file your uninstall back to stock file, and also your flashing guide. So go ahead and open up the email and save these files to your computer. In this example, we're saving it straight to our desktop. Now back to MTuner. Go ahead and key the car back on. Before you flash your car, make sure you hook up a battery charger to your car's battery. The flash process takes about five minutes, so it's imperative not to have any loss or dip in voltage during this time. We're gonna hit flash ECU. This is where you select the file that you just downloaded from your email. So we're going to choose our stage one file here. Alrighty, now MTuner is going to want you to auto license. You can put any information here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just put my name and the car and the color of the car. Here's your flashing confirmation message. Just give it a quick read over, make sure it looks correct. And then you're going to go ahead and hit OK. Now the flash process is going to begin. This takes about five minutes. During this time, you're going to hear all kinds of uh, noises going on behind the dash. Uh, error messages, beeps, etc. That's completely normal. Just let it do its thing. Don't touch anything. All right, once it's gone through all of these segments, go ahead and key off for 10 seconds. Key back on and hit OK. And that's it. The flashing process is complete. It is possible that you may see a couple of error messages on the dash. That's completely normal. Just give your car a few miles of driving or a few drive cycles and those should go away.